get closer to the essence of life. Okay, for first brave back Thursday, number 15. Ah, I was going to show you it. Haha, <laughs> I didn't know. Not yet. Right. So, I've mentioned my 14 best albums before then, and I'm not going to mention the top 10. You can go look at them. But the last album I mentioned was Bill Withers' Adjustments, which from 1974. I think it was his best collected works he ever did, um, apart from his greatest hits. Um, Maxwell Embryo, which I think is his best album. Um, great um, masterpiece of music. Then 12 was Voodoo by Deandre, and then number 11 was Michael Jackson's Bad. I had Thriller at number one. So this album is probably very much an album most of you probably don't know of. And it is an album I managed to hear when I was a teenager. I used to go to a music... I used to live in a village outside of Ipswich, and then I used to go into Ipswich and meet people at record shops. And one guy there used to know a lot about soul music, and he would... No, I didn't have always a lot of money. Um, you know, being 11, 12 years old, didn't always have a lot of money to buy albums, especially some of these albums, because they were rare. And some records, they just didn't have on CD. So, you know, I'm not going to pay £100 for a record when I'm a 11, 12-year-old, just didn't have that money. But what he would do is he would copy some of these albums on cassettes for me. And then also I did record dealing as well. So I used to buy records at boot sales and sell them and sometimes, and then that's how I bought albums. So if I could afford an album like, say, here, my dear by Marvin Gaye, I'd buy that for, say, ten twenty pounds because that wasn't so expensive. But this is an album by a guy called Andy Bay, and it's called Experience and Judgment. It's from 1973. So... First of all, you're probably thinking, who's Andy Bay? So Andy Bay used to be in a group called Andy Bay and the Bay Sisters, and they were a doo-wop group in the 50s and 60s. And then Andy Bay, nobody really heard much about. Um, just used to play piano for a couple of things, sing a couple of times for people, and but mainly sang. And people didn't always know uh, who he was. So, but Andy Bay was working on he was very private and there's a reason why he's private and I'm going to go into that later but Experience and Judgment as an album by Andy Bay this was re-released in 19 I think this was like late 90s I think maybe even it could be even early 2000s I think it's like late 90s and these albums were not cheap these were like 16 17 pound albums but better than paying 100 pound for the vinyl you just to buy the time this vinyl was very hard so Experience and Judgment is about an album is his personal relationship with spirituality he talks about yoga he talks about health he talks about love and he talks about it in the idea of the universal utopia he talks about the idea of meditation trying to not be angry and all these things are encapsulated in this album and it's unusual um andy bay's voice is very rich it's got this rich timbre it's kind of like listening to marvin gay but with this jazz feel on it and um, it's very emotional it's got this sort of very emotive voice I'd probably say uh, Gregory Porter of Contemporary Times is probably similar maybe and maybe um, the other guy is Aloe Black probably would kind of be similar in that sort of sound of his voice but this album is absolutely beautiful it is an album could I say if you want uh, Sunday afternoon you want to listen to an album put this album on if you want to relax, um, chill, maybe doing a long drive, this album is just amazing. Great musicianships. I think he found some of like the best jazz musicians at the time in New York. Um, it's actually splits into two uh, sessions. Um, so most of the tracks were written by... They all written by Andy Bear. He wrote everything. So... Um, which is kind of interesting that, you know, I think there was a couple of bits. Yeah, I think one... So Pat Evans uh, wrote some stuff as well, who was um, a guy who just, I think he knew from his jazz days. And then I think you have... He was also very friendly with Gary Bartz, Horace Silver. I mean, you know, Andy Bay was a very good jazz musician. I mean, really technically good. And very common he was a baritone vocalist so you know and these ideas this he would use these ideas 
and I suppose um, he was listening to all this stuff, getting ideas. He did albums before, but they never became very well known. And um, but he also makes something. For like example, he sings this track called "Rosemary Blue." It's written by Neil Sedaka, but it don't sound nothing like Neil Sedaka's written. Um, you've just seen the way again, but these sort of jazz songs, but he does them in this kind of funk feel. It's like you imagine Chick Corea was writing them, and it's just these excellent albums on Atlantic Records where some of them just never made it. And Atlantic Records has some really good artists. Eugene McDaniels was on Atlantic Records, but he got banned for the heroes, um, head of the series of the Apocalypse because he went against the government. Um, Sparrow um, Agrew actually got his album actually banned. So Experience and Judgment. Not only is it a good jazz album, but it's a good soul album, good R&B album. And these songs are this idea of his spiritual connection. And where people would have listened to the album, they would have thought, oh, talking about love, thinking it's about him and a woman. Well, unfortunately, Andy Bay turned out that when it was all found out, it found out that he was gay. And in the 70s, that was not really accepted. So Andy Bay, for some reason, though he was a great musician, known as a great musician in the era, didn't have this album promoted. They didn't promote it. Um, he had album tours stopped. Um, he had no promotion. And this is an album which just ended up going into the vaults and just never making it and certain people have it you know the people that have it love it but it never was a commercial hit and it's sad actually what happened because he's actually Andy Bay is still alive I think he's in his 90s um, and I've actually been trying to find out when he's ever doing a, a gig um, I was hoping he's ever gonna do one in Jazz Cafe in London or and I've never heard that he's ever done one. He's done some albums of later time, but they're jazz albums. Again, still very good musician. Um, but I just very rarely, he's, he's so non-promoted, it's very, it's quite criminal. And so he could have done a live gig in the last few years, I just wouldn't know, because he's just so literally promoted. Um, but this album is something I think if you want to get a personal relationship of who you are and who you're a bit who you want to know yourself as knowing that he you know this was about his lover um, you wouldn't think it. it to me this album goes beyond that and I just feel as an album this has got some excellent tracks the musicianship is second to none it is I mean there's not you, you, every time you listen to this album you pick up something new um, lyrical content you know different sort of speeds tempos and some people may feel it's very ploddy and it sounds similar it doesn't it's, if you listen to it again it, again it's like the same thing I was saying before with a lot of albums it's a concept album you've got to listen to the whole album as a whole um, it's actually not long either it's only about 40 45 minutes but just excellent musicianship and it's just a shame that it's never much promoted. So I'm doing the promotion for Andy Bay, and I feel that you know this should be something for anybody who really wants a down tempo album, jazz album, music which you can just listen to, relax to. This is an album I'd recommend. So Experience and Judgment by Andy Bay from 1973. Please, if you can get stream it, listen to it, give me feedback, and. Tell me your thoughts. But I don't think you'll regret listening to this album. And it's an album I listen to regularly. It's on my phone. Um, it's actually all these top 20 albums are all regularly on my phone. And this is about, this is an album probably I listen to in the car when I'm driving, at home when I want to relax before I go to bed. It's a very good album. And I highly recommend it. And if you can't find it on streaming, I think you should be able to find it streaming. If you can't... Um, because I don't stream, sorry, I, I listen to, I've, I've copied the CD and, and done that, and this is my own CD obviously, um, I still can't get it on vinyl, the vinyls are like 100 and 150 pounds, it's, it's a lot of money, um, but please tell me what you think, and if you can't stream it, please go onto YouTube, and there's versions of it. Get closer to the essence of life 
But be aware that it takes courage and strife. Expand your mind, don't let it wither. 